Hello there. I'm going to try and do justice to some of the questions that you've been asking. And uh, I'll be honest, many of them are not two minute answers. So I'll have to work on that. One of the questions I'm getting is about hope. This is a tough one for me because I think I'm a cynic. Rationalist. And hope is, is a little ephemeral for me. I'm concerned about things like reckless optimism. The idea that in times of distress and trouble, people flail, their minds flail, and they, they mentally and psychologically and emotionally reach out for anything that they can hold on to. And unfortunately in this world, many of the, many of the most obvious handholds for hope are people who would exploit, are people who would lie, are people who offer nothing of real substance. And then that supposed respite, that supposed place where you can gain some hope becomes something that only makes you even more desperate. I think there is a way to have rational optimism, but like everything good, it requires a bit of effort because I think rational optimism is, is not about ignoring the, the detritus, ignoring the, the chaos of a moment or the difficulties of a crisis. It, it's about seeing that, but then also proactively scanning the horizon for handholds of substance, for places where, though they may be challenging, or they, they may not be as easy to access, although they may take some personal effort. These are places where hope is real. And it isn't necessarily just on the internet, though I think there are some really good sources, people who are providing substantive hope. But it's about vulnerability and looking at your, your network of friends and family, partners, and, and saying, have I, have I looked to them? Have I told them that I need some hope and I think they're the person who can provide it? Have I helped them understand exactly what I need and, and they have assured me that they're willing to deliver that? Rational optimism is that, I think. The other part of rational optimism is sometimes you have to be the voice you wish you've heard. Sometimes amongst the din, the white noise of chaos, you have to be the voice out there, even when you're not quite sure, that says, we can do this and this is how. He is my contribution. I am a trustworthy handhold for your hope. Think about how you can do that today this week, how you can be a place where somebody can lay their rational optimism.